Hello and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. This is Subscriber Designs episode 13 and today we're starting off with Centipede by Minecraft the Bailey. So when I first saw the name Centipede I was wondering, an actual centipede in Kerbal Space Program? What? How does that work? Well here it is guys, as you can see it's a centipede and it's actually moving and the back wheel is slightly wobbly. Hmm. So the structural integrity of this design is, yeah, it's, it's strong enough because its maximum speed is 12 meters per second. Uh, any faster than that, then everything would just smash to pieces, guaranteed. Uh, you can easily increase the speed just by adding a rocket or jet. Easy. Um, but nevertheless, we're just testing out the strength of this thing by smashing into the buildings, because really, what else can you do with a centipede, right? It doesn't climb up the buildings, which would be actually quite interesting if it did. Uh, you'd need some sort of mod to do that. Huh. Anyway, smash into the buildings. And talk about buildings. Uh, buildings in Kerbal Space Program in the future are actually meant to be able to break. So you're meant to be able to break the buildings. Uh, they haven't implement, implemented that, obviously, uh, which would be quite interesting when they do, because I believe uh, if in this case we do smash a building, it would actually cost us uh, some sort of currency in order to repair them, which is cool, really cool. I'm looking forward to that. It's probably going to be like four, four up updates in time or something, uh, which would be very cool, yeah smashing the buildings and just demolishing them, which is something that we always, we've we always wanted. And there we go, smashing the centipede. But it doesn't smash the wheels, no, it just smashes the battery packs or banks. Because that's what these wheels, these wheels do chew up quite a lot of electricity. And, you know, the battery banks and packs are very essential for this thing, of course. And it does have, it does have a few generators on it as well in the front there. And of course it has lights. Which, it, it works, right? And they say it can move. I don't advise you, any of you to actually take this to another planet or moon. Uh, it, in stock parts, you'd really, really, really struggle. And it'd be almost impossible to do so. Unless you have some sort of mod that will allow you to teleport. Or you know, give you a bit of assistance to get there. As you can see there, we zoomed in and you can see all the parts and stuff. Which is cool. And every time you time up, that happens. Everything just moves downwards close to the ground. So th this design is Super Glider. And it is by Dog of the Tube. A very interesting name. Don't know how it works, but anyway. <laughs> so this design, I did assume that it was going to lift up nice and early off the runway, but nope. It actually had to take all the way to the end of the runway to lift off, which is, it's fine. But yeah, it's a super glider. It actually does glide. I've tested it, uh, and it works, of course, which is awesome. Uh, some of you are wondering what next episode will be. Uh, we will talk about... Sputnik 1, which is, the, I believe, the first satellite ever successfully launched into space. And it was very, very light. A very light and small satellite. Uh, which I have successfully replicated somewhat. And I've added a few extra features, such as ion engines. <laughs> uh, and you'll see in, in the episode, it was really fun, actually. I quite enjoyed making it cool, a very cool craft. So again, just testing out the maneuvers for this design, and it does work. Usually when I say there's this design, usually when I say a design is really good, it, it ends up smashing because of me. <laughs> but this design does not smash. Okay, spoiler alert, of course. And even though this is a super glider, it makes it so much easier to land on the ground, and yet we don't even land on the runway. Right? Yep, yeah, don't land. We're just gliding right now. Nope. Purely gliding. And it's good. Fairly stable. We don't, uh, we don't even have SAS on. Look at that. Look how cool that is. That's really, really good. And getting closer to the ground. Oh, turning left. What's going to happen? Oh, it's going to smash. No, that was a mistake. What's going to happen? It doesn't smash. <laughs> of course, I knew that. Of course, I did fight this craft. I remember. <laughs> um, so for the last of the week as well, I'm sort of planning to change a few things on that as well. As well, as well, as well. Uh, we'll try and take out... Instead of making new designs, we will modify the current designs we have made and probably make... Uh, we'll try and get into rovers as well because we haven't really made too many rovers. But that was a good design. Now for this design, which is Shuttle Mark II, made by Danny GBA 21 So pretty nice name. I know this guy has commented quite a few times. So he's a, he's a long-time subscriber along with Minecraft at Bailey. I don't know about Dog of the Tube. Uh... But anyway, so at first I had a few problems with this design. I had to do about three launches, three attempts, uh, because it did smash quite a few times. I didn't actually follow the instructions that Danny GBA 21 left me. 
I looked at the instructions after I finished doing this recording. My bad. And of course, all these designs were made in a previous version of Kerbal Space Program, uh, which is probably why some of them had a few faults. Well, just this had a fault, and you'll see what that fault is in a moment. But anyway, um, I'll leave you to a bit of nice, peaceful space ambient music by Stellar Drone, and I'll be right back. So we have almost successfully orbited the planet, checking on the fuel consumption, it's still good. So this design is very nice, uh, its main capability is to be able to orbit the planet and dock with another aircraft or rocket or whatever thing you have in space, which it does work, alright? Uh, one issue that I sort of noticed is that there aren't enough RCS thrusters on the design, which is perfectly fine. Uh, you can easily add any thrusters if you are trying out this design. And of course, now we're doing a bit of re-entry. And guys, I have a big favor to ask of you. Um, I have this work colleague. His name is Kulvi. And I owe him like 13 hours worth of work. Because he was helping me do my, my job more well. So, you know, configuring desi devices and stuff. Long story. Uh, so if you guys could say, hi, Kulvi. And say hi and spell like this. Uh, C-O-O-L-V-I-R. So, Kulvi. <laughs> So I really appreciate that. But this design, well, bad thing about what I did here was I was aiming for KC and we just missed it by thousands of meters. It's just like far away behind us. Terrible, terrible luck. But yeah, so now we just had to store the craft, try to save these Kerbals. I don't know who the Kerbals were, I can barely see the name. But anyway, we save it and we smash. But anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, download link is in the description. Thanks to all the subscribers who have submitted their designs. Really appreciate it. And see you next time. Bye.